Welcome to Football Fan News. My name is Tom. I'm a 22-year-old journalism student based at Sheffield Town University, and I'm the founder of Football Fan News. In this first episode of Football Fan News TV, I'm going to explain to you guys what we're all about, what we look to achieve, and who's involved in this project. What we are is a fan-based site, uh, which means we've been bringing you up to date with the latest news, features, transfer rumours, managerial changes, interview, debate, basically any means possible to try and keep you guys as up to date and entertained as possible. Um, what we want to achieve, we want to create a big fan base. We want to make as good a positive impact as possible on fans around the world. So we'll be covering Premier League, um, leagues across Europe, so Serie A, La Liga, the Bundesliga, and try and reach as many people as possible. Who's involved? Um, there's a group of us, a um, group of Czech students, journalists, Sheffield Hallam, and we're commi all committed to try and get this ambitious project off the ground. How's it going to work? Um, we're going to be keeping our Facebook pages, our Twitter pages, constantly updated with the latest news, features, what I said earlier, it's very boring, you don't need to hear it again. Um, we're also going to create uh, a YouTube channel, in fact there is a YouTube channel already, um, and from that we're going to put a daily bulletin on there, which will mainly uh, presented by myself, but may occasionally be presented by somebody else. In those bulletins, we're going to give you the latest news, the latest ongoings, what's happened during the day. Um, we're going to try, as the project grows forward, uh, bring you interviews, um, try and get possibly players, managers on. But, you know, we are a student-based uh, group, so it is going to be difficult to begin with, but please do stick with us. Right, time to move on to the football, the whole reason why we're here. Um, only one place to start really, and that's the Euros, which last night saw Group A concluded. Um, Poland and Russia are out, which means the Czech Republic and Greece, 2004 Champions Greece, are through to the quarters. Um, not many people thought that would happen after the opening round of, um, of fixtures, which sure Russia obviously went 4-1 against the Czechs. So to see the Russians go at this early stage, I think big shot, biggest shot of the tournament so far. Um, another line from Poland, uh, their coach, uh, Franciszek Schmuda, if that's how you pronounce it, um, his contract will not be renewed and he'll be leaving after three years uh, as manager, coach. Moving on to Group B, uh, the group of death. Um, all four teams can still go through this evening, but all four teams can also be eliminated. So there's lots of different permutations, which I'm going to go through with you now. Um, I will be posting them on Facebook and Twitter because there's a lot, a lot to go through. And I've even, I've even got to look down my trusty notes to, uh, to do so. The Netherlands on zero points. Um, they play Portugal this evening, where a win but more than one goal will see them through if Germany also beat Denmark. So they will go through to core qualification if they win by more than one goal and Germany beat Denmark. Draw or lose, they're out. Denmark, they take on the Germans, where a win will seem to secure qualification and a draw will only be enough if Netherlands can beat Portugal. Lose and they're out. Portugal. A win will see them secure qualification unless Denmark beat Germany 3-2 or by a higher scoring one goal margin. A draw will see them secure qualification if Denmark do not beat the Germans. They can still go through even if they lose tonight with a one goal defeat if Germany beat Denmark, but any more and they are out. The Germans, people's favourites, go through as winners of this group. Um, win or draw, they finish the group as uh, winners, same class. They can still go through with a 3-2 defeat or a higher scoring one goal loss. Otherwise, they are out if Portugal beat Netherlands, but through if the Portuguese do not claim three points. In other news, UEFA have confirmed that they'll be opening disciplinary proceedings against the FA after alleged that a segment of England fans tried to invade the pitch during their 3-2 victory over Sweden on Friday evening. The FA, however, insists they will fight any charge sent their way so they believe there were no behaviour problems during the course of the game. Everton boss David Moyes insists he has not been contacted by Spurs regarding the vacant manager's post with the North London club. Harry Redknapp was released with his duties last week after failing to guide the club to the Champions League finish. Sticking with Spurs, def Belgian defender Jan Versenen still appears to be close to joining the club. The 25-year-old Belgian international would believe to be stalling on a deal. However, his agent has insisted he will still be joining the club within the next few days or so. So that's it for our first episode. Um, this is only an introductory episode. There's a lot more to come from us. Um, what we want to do now, uh, as you can see, I'm wearing my Leicester City shirt from season 76 to 79, I believe. Um, if you've got any retro shirts, send us your pictures. We want to know which football teams you support. We want a lot of banter coming our way. Um, so please send them to us, either Facebook, Twitter, whatever way you can. 
Um, tomorrow, I will bring you the latest from the Euros, conclusion from uh, Group B, um, any other news? Who knows? Versus might have completed his move to uh, Spurs by then. Um, I hope you've enjoyed uh, our first show, and um, we'll see you again. Cheers. <laughs>